The Foreseen Arcade. Active. Dog. 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 What do you think the next one is? Corgi! Aww. Come here, buddy! And it's gone. What do you think the next one is? Labrador! Yay! Aw, <laughs> oh, come on! We're nice! We promise! What do you think the next one is? Husky! Yay! Doggy, doggy, doggy! Oh, come on! 17,000 dogs come here every day, and none of them want anything to do with us, Cass. I just want to pet one! That's it! Just to see what it feels like. Shit, it's almost 5 o'clock. We've been playing Guess That Dog all damn day. All damn week. All damn millennium. Not like we've got anything else to do, Puri. At least we're trying to use our brains. <sighs> what the hell? What's that? It's my soul purity measurifier. It's reacting to something. Reacting to what? I don't know. The screen is all jittery. God damn it. I have no idea how to tune this thing. Let me have a look. There, I think. I still don't know what I'm looking at, though. I think we've got a ton of humans coming in. Uh, do you know what to do? Uh, not when there are this many. Last time I did this, there was just Peter. Actually, let's go ask Peter what the hell we're supposed to do. Hey, Peter. What do you two want? What kind of souls are we getting in today? Hmm, well, let's just see here, shall we? Dog, 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 dog. It goes on like this forever. I think there are some humans coming in. Give that to me. Those aren't your regular run-of-the-mill humans. Those are phantoms. See the angry little eyes? Oh, yeah. Cute. Not cute. Phantoms aren't supposed to exist. Their coming here is a goddamn paradox. It would be as if somebody other than God sat on his throne. The whole fabric of heaven's reality will unravel and we will all die. Sorry, uh, did you just say that we're all gonna die? Shut up! Oh, shit. What the hell do we do? God works in mysterious ways. God works in mysterious way. God would. Shit, of course! Hey, you! Watch your face! Which one are you again? Me! Oh, uh, Cassio! Cassio of Slarity! Yes, good, the fast one. Take these keys and zip over to the vault. There's gonna be a vault guardian there. Ask him to cut the shit and give you an artifact called the Holy Gosh Darn. We're gonna plant it in front of the gate and stop the phantoms! The what? It's an artifact that I don't have time to explain. Just go, goddammit! Wait, I don't think I'm fast enough to- Go! Ooh, yeah, that does not look good. Oh, wow. What the hell just happened? Yo, yo, yo! What's up, Cass? Asriel? What are you- Wait, if you're here, then that means I'm dead, doesn't it? Oh, god damn it! Chill, Cass. I only reap humans, yo. 
Nah, I'm here because I need your help with some Lord's work. No thanks, Azrael. I think I'm good. I've been trying to stay away from Lord's work these days. It ain't nothing like that, Kaz. We don't have to kill anyone. Well, probably not. Look, those phantoms that showed up, they might be a tiny little bit my fault. What the hell did you do? What's the deal with those phantoms? A phantom's a soul that ain't supposed to exist, I. Is it mostly my fault that those kids died? Yes. Do we have time to yammer on about it? Hell no. Ah, oh, so you did the killing this time. The point is that none of this biz was supposed to happen. So, I'ma grant you the ability to time travel, so you have enough time to stop those phantoms from ever showing up in heaven. Cool, right? Fine, I'll try to help, but I'm not as fast as before, just so you know. Oh, yeah! I owe you, Cassiel of Speediness. Old Azrael of Mortality owes you. It's Cassiel of Celerity, you goddamn it. Oh, crap! That was a weird dream. Sheesh. No more honey doodles before. Yo, yo, yo! Whoa! Well, what the hell are you doing in my apartment? We're gonna save heaven, remember? Oh, god damn it. Quit bitching and listen to me, yo. See that brand new bling around your neck? It contains a small portion of my power. It'll let you time travel to any moment between 12, which was when you woke up this afternoon, and 6, which was when heaven blew up. Heaven is gonna blow up today, and you've only given me 6 hours to stop it? It ain't my fault you slept till 12. Great. Give it a whirl. Travel back to 12 o'clock. Wind the timer back to 12. Alright, here we go. See ya earlier. Oh, shit! Oh, oh god. Cool, huh? Uh-huh, great. Oh. Yeah, it can take a while to get used to traveling through time-space logic like that. Uh, you okay? Yep. Alright, so, you probably noticed the clock only lets you travel in segments of 15 minutes, yo. That's neat and all, but if it ain't cutting it for your time travel needs, you can always press the yellow button to create a timestamp. That's just something we in the time traveling biz prefer to call a checkpoint, cause we're fancy like that. So try it out, yo. Create a timestamp. Nice. Now, let's just wait a few seconds and... Okay. Try traveling back to the timestamp you made. It should have shown up as a yellow line on the clock. Nice. You can only have one timestamp at a time for now, but that shouldn't be a big deal. Listen, I'm getting tired talking all this tutorial biz. So I'll be resting inside the clock if you need me. Any idea what we should start as a couple of heroes trying to save heaven and biz? Yeah, Peter said something about an artifact we could use to stop the phantoms at the gate. Let's start by talking to him. Aight. Sounds like you're paying him a visit, yo. Also, don't mention me to anyone, aight? I'm in enough trouble already. Want coffee? Normally, hells yeah. But right now, we gotta focus on saving heaven, Cass. Wow, 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 if it isn't Cassie Girl out and about, where are you off to in such a hurry, hmm? Uh, hey, biblical eagle creature. I'm on my way to talk to Peter about something. Aren't you gonna ask me what I'm up to? Cass, we won't always have time to chew the fat with everyone you meet, yo. Tell him you don't have time for his bull feces. What? I can't do that. That's rude. It's fine. Just do it. Guess what I'm up to, Cass? Just Sorry, BEC. Don't have time to talk right now. See? Didn't that feel nice? Now, sometimes you might actually want to talk to somebody. 
but you might not have time to listen to everything they have to say, yo. In those cases, you can simply ask them to get to the point. Here, let me rewind time so you can try it out. Whoa, 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 if it isn't Cassie. Get to the point, BEC. Point? What point? I was just gonna tell you about how I used to be the guardian of God's throne. But now, I don't wanna. You're really rude today, Cass. Sorry. Hi. so it might be a good idea to pace yourself with the rudeness sometimes, or else people won't want to talk to you no more. Luckily, you can just turn back time to before you were being a horrible person. You asked me to behave like this. And you better get used to it too, Cass. We ain't got time to sip coffee and chat about the weather all day, you know? We gonna save heaven. We're heroes with agendas. No nonsense heroes with no time to spare. Unless we manipulate time, of course. So, in a way, we kind of do got time to chat about the weather, but also we kind of don't. So, I guess it's up to you what you want to do. I, I think we're ready to go talk to Peter about that artifact, yo. Can't go there for free. What's that up there? That's the teleporter to Helheim. They used to make burning swords and stuff for us back in the day. Oh yeah, they do that for Satan too. Yeah, we sure love our swords. So maybe dogs, it was part yeah. of their stick? Or maybe they changed the name to own up to the rabbit dogs? Who know? Hey, Cass! I was starting to worry you wouldn't show up today. Muriel, you okay? Yeah? Good! Cool! Everything is okay! We're okay! <laughs> uh-huh. Hey, let me take a look at your soul purity measure fire. Okay. Here. What did you do? Just nothing. Anyway, I gotta go. Okay. <laughs> hey, Peter, can I borrow the key to the vault? Oh, look, another lazy angel. Which one are you again? Oh, uh, I'm Cassiel. And what in the name of Gabriel's extensions are you gonna do with the key to the vault, Cassiel? I need the holy gosh darn. The holy gosh darn? What do you think you know about the holy gosh darn? Uh... It's some kind of defense mechanism. Uh-huh. So you know nothing, in other words. Get out of here. I'll figure out exactly what it is when I go get it. Come on, Peter. Just give me the keys. You're too ignorant to be anywhere near the vault. Now stop bothering me. Some of us actually have work to do. You don't know what the holy gosh dawn is? Do you? I be death, yo. I know everything. I also forget everything. Hey, Puri. Hi. Have you ever heard about the holy gosh darn? Of course. Who hasn't? Cass? Are you telling me you haven't heard about the holy gosh darn? I mean, I know we've been playing Guess That Dog for the past millennium, but like, don't you read a book or something when you're at home? You gotta know these things, Cass. We are angels at the end of the day. Are you done? Can you tell me what it is now? The Holy Gosh Darn is an artifact created by the Lord thousands of years ago. According to legend, he needed a perfect creation to show off at the annual God convention. But you know, his initial project tried to kill us all, so he had to make something else last minute. But this time, his creation was too perfect. Anyone that looked at it turned into a drooling mess. The convention was a disaster. Just a bunch of gods standing around losing their minds. So the Lord took the artifact back to heaven and locked it inside the vault forever. So that's why Peter wanted to plant it in front of the gate. What's that? Nothing. 
But you still haven't told me what the hell it is. It's an artifact. I understand that it's an artifact, but what kind of... You don't know either, do you? How the hell would I know? I've never even met God. Ask one of his buddies if you're that curious. One of his buddies, huh? Yeah. What's up with your sudden interest in that thing, anyway? Just trying to learn some history so you'll stop yelling at me for not having heard of things. Anyway, I gotta go. Laters. All right. Guess I'll play Guess That Dog Alone. You know, since they don't really have thumbs, I thought you didn't want to date seraphims and ring angels. Can't oh, go no, no, there no, no, for no. free. Tax billionaires are open for everyone, dude. And I never said I didn't want to date seraphims. I just said I didn't want to. Hey, what's up, BEC? You hurt my feelings earlier, Cass. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay. You can try rewinding time to before you pissed him off, yo. Well, 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 if it isn't Cassie Girl out and about, where are you off to in such a hurry, hmm? Uh, hey, biblical eagle creature. I'm on my way to talk to Peter about something. Aren't you gonna ask me what I'm up to? What are you up to, biblical eagle creature? I'm gonna scoop dog shit, Cassiel. Yeah, like I do every goddamn day, because all dogs go to heaven, Cassiel. Every single one. Doesn't matter if it's a good boy or dog Stalin. They all come here, and they shit everywhere! You're doing the Lord's work, Biblical Eagle Creature. <laughs> the, ah, the Lord's work? <laughs> Did you know I used to hang out with the Lord? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I used to be the guardian of his throne. Uh, that was biblical! Now I'm just a shitty eagle creature. You literally have eyes on your wings, B.E.C. What's more biblical than that? Yeah, yeah, I don't feel very biblical. I miss the old days when I did actual Lord's work. Nobody is stupid enough to sit on God's throne nowadays, B.E.C., so it sort of guards itself. I miss Eve and Adam. They were stupid enough. What's even the point of having guardians of the throne if no one is going to try to sit on it? God works in mysterious ways? God works in mysterious ways. Hmm. Listen, I gotta go, okay? You try to enjoy yourself. I just know it's going to be a shitty day, Cassiel. I can feel it on my beak. Hi, BEC. What's up, Cassiel? Hey! You used to hang out with the Lord, right? Did he ever tell you what the holy gosh darn is? Of course he did! What is it? What is the holy gosh darn? The holy gosh darn is an artifact created by God that can mesmerize anything that looks at it. When Eve and Adam turned out to be a couple of shitheads, he got kind of embarrassed and decided to create something truly perfect. That's when he decided to paint the holy gosh darn! It's a painting. It's a painting? Huh. All right. Thanks, B.E.C. Whatever, Cassiel. Because it turns out the flames were my goddamn date. They were a seraphim. Hey, Cass. I was starting to worry you wouldn't show up today. I always show up. Hey, let me take a look at your soul purity measure fire. Okay. Here. What did you do? Don't worry about it. I have to deal with a thing. Deal with a thing? <laughs> what thing? There are things to deal with? Doug. Hey, Peter, can I borrow the key to the vault? Oh, look, another lazy angel. Which one are you again? I'm Cassiel. And what in the name of Gabriel's extensions are you going to- What in the name of Gabriel's extensions? Very clever! I need the key to go get the holy gosh darn! The holy gosh darn? It's a painting. That's right. Good job knowing basic heaven history. Now get out of here. Peter, please. I need the holy gosh darn to stop heaven from blowing up. You have to let me borrow that key. 
What the hell are you talking about? A bunch of phantoms are going to arrive at 6 o'clock today and kill everyone. You told me to plant the holy gosh darn in front of the gate to stop them. I told you? Yes, Peter, you told me in the future. I've been granted time travel powers until I save heaven from those phantoms. So you've talked to me in the future, huh? All right, tell me something only I would know. Why would I know something that only you would know? Because that would mean I told it to you in the future. Uh, but you didn't tell me anything like that. So you weren't in the future. <sighs> Fine, tell me a secret then. I'm not gonna suddenly tell you a secret. I'd only do something like that if we had, like, less than an hour to live. Are you kidding me? Go now, Cassiel. I'm busy. If I remember right, Puriel's alarm went off around five. Then we were dead within the hour. Sounds like a good time to try out the fast forward function on your clock, yo. Hey, look, we have less than an hour to live. You can't just say we have less than an hour to live and expect me to tell you a secret. No, but we do. God damn it, where is Puriel? Hey, Peter. What do you two want? Peter, look at Puriel's SPM. Aren't those phantoms? Oh, shit, you're right. Those are phantoms. There aren't supposed to be goddamn phantoms in heaven. The second they fly past that gate, we're all gonna die. Sorry, uh... Hey, look, we have less than an hour to live. Oh, shit, you are from the future. All right, Angel, here's my secret. Ooh, oh, man, but it's so embarrassing. Once I say it, it's out there, you know. Forever. All right, all right, I have to say it. The whole fate of heaven depends on it, isn't that what you said? Who cares about my silly little secret when heaven is on the brink of destruction? All right, here's my secret. I'm gonna say it now. My secret is... My, 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 my secret is... Oh, I, 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 I can't. I just can't. Just say it. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Come on! Will you give me a goddamn second? I'm gonna throw up. Peter! <laughs> Spit it out. Well, here I am spilling my guts to you, and all you do is yell at me. You know what? I'm not saying it. How about that? Peter, you have to say it, or else we're all gonna die. I don't care, Angel. As far as I gather, we're all about to die anyway. You're really gonna make me go back in time and try this again? Maybe you should go back in time and learn some manners. That not being rude thing didn't last long. I'm stressed, okay? But it's so embarrassing. Once I say it, it's out there, you know. Forever. All right, all right, I have to say it. The whole fate of heaven depends on it, isn't that what you said? Who cares about my silly little secret when heaven is on the brink of destruction? All right, here's my secret. I'm gonna say it now. My secret is, my, 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 my secret is, oh, I, 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 I can't, I just can't. Oh, pull yourself together, Peter. It's just the most embarrassing secret ever, that's all. Oh, suck it up and just say it. All right, all right, all right. Here it is. Here it comes. I'm about to say it. Here I go saying it. Oh, I'm too embarrassed to admit this. Spit it out. Oh, okay, I'm ready to say it. I'm totally going to say it now. Are you ready to get your mind blown? No one else knows this. So, the thing is... The thing is... Oh my god, Peter! No, oh, hell. My name. It's actually... Simon. Not Peter. That's your goddamn secret? Wait, what's going on? I have a stupid, embarrassing name. That's what's going on. Oh. Okay. Wait, what was that about us dying in an hour? Holy 
gosh, Doc. Gross! Uh, what the hell, Angel? It's nothing. Anyway, what were you saying? The holy gosh darn. It's a painting. That's right. Hey, Simon. Can I please borrow the key to the vault? What did you just call me? Which one are you again? My name is Cassiel. Your name is Simon. I know that because I talked to you in the future. How, you ask? Okay, well, I've been granted the ability to time travel until I save heaven from destruction. Which is something I can only do if you just let me borrow that goddamn key to the goddamn vault. Oh. Okay. Oh, my God. Thank you. Don't go around telling anybody about my name. Now we just have to bring this to the vault. Oh, the mess. Damn. But two can play at that game. Uh, Cass, I ain't trying to freak you out or nothing, but your head's a-glowing. It is. I guess ruining Peter's day was good lord's work. I must be getting back some of my grace. You did kill his vibe. <laughs> <sighs> oh well. Might as well make use of it. That area is for paying customers only. This is probably going to take an hour to open. Seriously? Yeah, it's an old door. Now where is that guardian? Is he asleep? He's looking pretty old, yo. Think we gotta get here earlier if we want him to be awake. What time was it when he passed out? How should I know? He was already asleep when we got here. Biblical lioness creature. Biblical ox creature. Biblical eagle creature. Josh. I don't think he's going to wake up anytime soon. Goddamn mess. Damn. But two can play at that game. Can't go there for free. can't go there for free. I don't have time to go anywhere. Hi, BEC. What's up, Cassiel? You wouldn't happen to have a spare key to the vault on you. Oh, ho, ho! 
Oh, oh, I'd like to see the day the Lord entrusts the key to the vault of the shitty eagle creature. No, I scoop dog shit, Cassiel. I have no business in the vault. All right. Thanks, BEC. Yeah, yeah. Don't need a coffee right now. I passed out on the couch while eating honey doodles. Classy, yo. It's my other, other pants. Oh, nice. Some heaven money. Eh, uh, yeah. I should check if this is still valid. Need to look at it closer. Looks like I'm fine until tomorrow. Gonna brush my teeth. Sure, take your time. Heaven's about to blow up, no biggie. don't have time to go anywhere. He's asleep, all right. That area is for paying customers only. Can't go there for free. <laughs> that area is for paying customers only. That area is for paying customers only. Hey, Puri. Hi. Let's play Guess That Dog. Sure. What else are we gonna do? When do you think the next one is? Poodle. <laughs> nice. What do you think the next one is? I have to deal with a thing. Deal with a thing? What thing? There are things to deal with?